Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to show you how to set up the local fabric environment uh, to run this um, uh, blockchain program that we have. So first things first, you have to set up a two organization local. Um, you can set it up here where you can create from a new template and you can choose this two org template, two CAs, two peers and this will be set up for you when you click this. Alright, I already had it set up so I can go ahead and proceed by clicking on here and it should start my two organization environment. Alright, so um, okay so once it's done um, okay we're connected to two organizations right now so what we can do is we can deploy our smart contract okay. and then we choose our latest contract 0 0.1.2 and we deploy it So we see that we have installed on Peer 1 uh, in Organization 1 right now. It's approving a smart contract. There's a lot of things that go on in the background and take some time. So, And it's successfully deployed. All right, so we have the smart contract deployed um, on my channel. And if you go on to your gateway, um, org1.gateway, if you click on that, you should be able to see my channel and my contract, 0 0.1.2. All right. Okay, so now that we have this, I'm going to show you something here so you can actually run it from your application. Now remember what we talked about, which is we have two organizations and both of them have applications that's accessing the Fabric Network. So what we need right now is to um, export out the connection profile for this gateway, which is for organization one and we're going to put it in uh, applications and we put under connections okay take note of the file name that you are copying under I would suggest that you copy this and click OK because once you do that okay what we have is I set up some configuration file in JSON um, in application config.json and if you look at this I set up connection fabric network and this actually is inside connections folder all right um, so what we do is we're going to remove this and put it as connections which is in the connections folder followed by slash the file name that we saved just now which is to our local arc one gateway connection. We save that. So remember this file here that was saved. This is what it's going to be pointing out to. Okay. So once we have that, uh, we need to go back to our fabric network, and we need to export out organization one wallet. So let's do that here. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to click on Org1. We're going to export the wallet. Okay, take careful note on where the um, 
wallet is exported to we're going to export it out to wallet and the folder name is called org1 so take note of that okay so click OK all right so let me check whether or not if we have org1 folder inside we don't have okay that's good all right so click on that so if you go to wallet you notice that this is the newly created org1 folder that we just saved our wallet all right, and this is in the application folder uh, wallet. So in our config file again, take note, we need to replace this with org1. And there we have it. We have all our configurations uh, set up. So let's try this out. Okay, so so now that we, we need to do is we need to init the ledger. So we have this program um, that we do the initialization. JS. So let's try to init the ledger and see what happens. I made some changes in the source code, so hopefully this works fine now. So. All right, so let's check and see what's inside our blockchain right now. So let's do a query on a JS. And everything has been initialized. All right, so what we can do is uh, we have some test case here. So we run test case one to uh, simulate everything in here. So give you an idea what test case one is. Um, basically, uh, it's actually going to initialize with, it's going to create a document with reference for and this data in here. And uh, it's going to check to see whether or not if the document exists. It's going to create the document and then it's going to query the transaction for. All right, so let's check it out. So reference for document, it does not exist. All right, so it's going to create a document. Transactions committed. It's going to look for reference for. Uh, okay, so, ah, okay. Um, what happens here is, uh, I think I haven't changed my query yet so okay so what happens is I was still pointing to an old um, wallet uh, it should be changed to a configuration of uh, in my configuration file so it should be under config.wallet alright so let me change this Okay, so that should do the trick. All right, save this. It's going to be auto compile by TSC Watch. All right, so let me try to run um, this particular command. See what if it works. There it is. So basically, everything is in here. So let's run the other test case, which is test case Accra 2. Accra 2. So what this does is that it's actually going to um, approve uh, this document. So it's going to update this document right for. Notice that doc type is new here. It's going to change this to another doc type. So it's going to change dot type Accra org1. It's going to update the UEN which was blank before and now it has UEN number in here. All right. Uh, so now that we have already done this, now we got to go down to org2 right now, uh, basically. And let me see, application uh, 2. Oops, did I name that correctly? Okay. 
So it's application RG2. All right, so we have that. Uh, we need to do a few things first. So we need to go back to fabric. We need to disconnect first so that we can connect to uh, let me close this so that I don't connect to the wrong one we need to connect to Alt 2 right now and it's connecting okay so once we're in here notice that in Alt 2 we have the same thing we have the contract as well and we have all the different transactions available so we need to export out the connection profile we need to go to op2 um, go under connections and we're going to save this as op2 blah 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 okay so we're going to save this as that confirm on overwrite yes okay so it's overriding that next thing is um, the wallet op2 so let me check my wallets and see what I have in here. I have Ot2 wallet. I'm just going to remove that uh, just to be on the safe side because I don't know what if it override it. Ot2 um, org2. Oops, okay. Directory. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to export out this wallet and I'm going to put in Ot2 under wallet and I'm going to click OK. All right, so that's done now. Okay, so we can go down to application alt level, um, and we can, well, we can run a few things first. We can check whether or not if um, query.js ref four exists, which is the one that we created earlier. See if it this works. Yes, it does. So notice that it's the same thing, ref four. Um, and we have the UEN status that was updated and we have it as Accra Oc one as a dot type. So I run a test case here which is test case COC3 uh, test case COC3 all right so it's running test case COC3 and what it does is going to update this particular transaction and changing this to Accra to Accra COC Alt 2 and pick status is going to be yes. So let's see what it does. Okay, so it's really been committed. It's going to query again and notice the dot type has changed now to Accra COC Alt 2 and pick status is okay. All right, it actually updates the charity status, not the pick status, so my bad. All right, so it updates the charity status, which was now before, and now it's yes. Okay, so if we go back to org1, we can run the query. Um, oops, okay, I'm sorry. Note this uh, query. Uh, dot js ref four, and you should be able to see what was updated. In which case, charity status is yes, and it was updated by Accra COC Alt two, and the UN status is still there. All right, there's one last thing I want to show you all, and that is, um, if I remember correctly, let me see where that is. Okay, let's. See if I can find this. All right, so in CouchDB, uh, you can access this. By the way, the password is admin pw. So you can log in here and you can see all the data that was being updated. So notice that the first tree is F012 that was created in the init ledger and ref4 was the one that we created in our test case in this case it was uh, this with the Accra coc charity status set to yes and the uen is updated as that so that pretty much concludes this presentation um, if there's any questions i'm more than happy to answer them